Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. Once in a while we get a daily. Consume a vintage alcoholic beverage, one, for 250 score. So I made this same daily a long time ago. And that's when I first started making YouTube videos. So those videos are pretty rough, but I'll put those videos at the end of this one to help you. So I thought I'd update it. So the best way to complete this daily is come here to Sunday Brothers Cabin right here and we're going to pick up some Meyer Magic Moonshine that we can turn into vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine let's go ahead I brought you here several times before and this is a good location of three Meyer Magic Moonshine bottles that you can consume if we're lucky enough that someone else hasn't already taken them. So as we can see, there's someone who's already taken them. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. So there's usually two right here in the table. And there's usually one right down there in that uh, bear mouth down there. You see that little bear down there? In its mouth, there'll be one there. A location of three. So let's go ahead and we'll grab this bad boy. And as you can see, it's just regular Meyer Magic Moonshine. Now we need to turn this into vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. Let's go back to my camp. Now we can do the same thing with Nuka Shine. We can craft Nuka Shine if you know the recipe. And then you can put it back in the fermenter to make it vintage Nuka Shine. Now, depending on how long you've been playing the game, there are certain events like the Mole Miner Treasure Hunters, uh, Spooky Scorched, Holiday Scorched, and when you open up those treat bags, the Holiday Gifts, the Mole Miner Pails, you have a chance to get a vintage uh, beverage like Vintage Nuka Shine or Vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. All right. And I'll show you what they look like. I already got some on me, but I'm going to show you the process of what you have to do. Because you know that I am a, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. So here's Vintage Nuka Shine, Vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. And uh, in order to make it vintage... In order for you to consume and get complete for this daily, we have to put it in the fermenter. Let's go ahead. We'll go to our fermenter right here. We're going to go transfer. All right. So let's go ahead. we got this Meyer Magic Moonshine that we just got from Sunday Brothers Cabin. But we need to turn it to vintage. So let's... Brought that over. So we brought that over. So you see how this is a full yellow bar? Okay, this will take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes real life time of gameplay. So let's say you play 15 minutes now, you come back later, play another 15 minutes. This Meyer Magic Moonshine will become vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. And it's going to turn into a bar like this where it's a black bar with a line crossed through it, okay? So what we're going to do is, because I can cut up the video, I'm going to kind of leave, leave it off here, cut the video, and then just before this turns into vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine, that's where I'll start the video back up. So I don't like cutting videos up because I like to be, you know, transparent and true and show people proof. But for this particular daily, it's going to take 20 minutes to a half an hour, right? So we'll keep that in mind. And uh, from here, uh, you'll see, uh, probably, uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell that I cut the video up. So, just an FYI. So, we're going to start from right now. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, I had cut the video up because it was, right now, we're right on 50 minutes of real-life playtime. So, 
right from where I left off when I got this Meyer Magic Moonshine from Sunday Brothers Cabin to now. It's been pretty much, yeah, I would say about 50 minutes real lifetime. So I've been playing the game, just doing, you know, the odd thing. And I set my timer to about half an hour. And um, so it's, it's been a little longer. So I would say it's been at least 50 minutes real lifetime. And I'm back here again. Now you can see how that yellow bar has gone down to a uh, small sliver of a yellow bar there. So hopefully within another minute or two, uh, this Meyer Magic Moonshine will become vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. And as it says, ages into vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. So that means we have to do what we just did, put it in the fermenter here. And you could do the same thing with uh, regular old Nuka Shine. Uh, I put it in the fermenter. I, I'm thinking, I, I, for some reason, I was thinking a half an hour, but it's it's obviously longer than that. So keep that in mind. If it's a daily, you're gonna you know you only have so much time, right? So it, it'd be good to if you plan on doing this daily and not re-rolling it. Of course, um, you know you're gonna have to play for about an hour to be on the safe side, right? And uh, that way they can complete the daily if for either Meyer Magic Moonshine or the Nuka Shine. So uh, probably another minute, I would say, just because how that little sliver became an even smaller sliver, <laughs> as you saw there. And uh, hopefully it won't take too much longer. But I just want to kind of show you this. And um, I don't like cutting the videos up too much because I like to be as transparent as possible. But... Uh, for this particular daily, we have to do this. So cross our fingers. It's going to be uh, switching over here soon. And we'll see it happen right in front of our eyes. So I made a video like this quite a long time ago. Like pretty much close to when I first started making uh, videos. So the videos are pretty rough. Especially my voice with the old recording equipment there. But... Uh, this one here should be a lot better, more up to date, I guess. Is as we all know, Fallout 76 is ever so evolving. Patches and updates, stuff like that can always change the way daily and weekly challenges work. Jesus is quite something. <laughs> yeah, so I would say a good hour of real life gameplay just to be on the safe side. So you could start this. Do other daily, weekly challenges. Do some other stuff. And uh, that way you can come back. Now, if it was a weekly challenge, it'd be a little bit better. Because then you have all week to do it. You can kind of come, you know, start it. Come back, you know, play 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there kind of thing. And tell you, you know, you've reached, you know, 50 minutes to an hour. Yeah. So we're going on almost 55. Yeah, 55 minutes there now. Kind of looking at the little timer here. <laughs> any time now, any day. <laughs> it's quite something. It'd be good if they reduce the time. That would be perfect. I just find, you know, especially for a daily, you know, people only have so much time in the day and now, having the re-rolls, they, they, you know, that helps out, but it's always good to know how to do this stuff. Especially if you're so close to the, so, so there we go. Wow, look at that. You still got another minute left. Oh, that's amazing. You don't even see a little bar there, just a black, uh, a black bar there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so Vintage Nuka Shine works on with the same thing. You can make your own Nuka Shine. Throw it in the fermenter to make it vintage. And that's what the daily asked for, for us to consume a vintage. If you drink just a regular Nuka Shine, or just a regular Meyer Magic Moonshine, like, like if I were to just, to, you know, consume this Meyer Magic Moonshine, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten credit. It's got to have the word vintage in front of it for this to work. Just in case you guys are wondering. Oh. So 
so we're seconds away. <laughs> Jump up and down, do a couple push-ups, a couple pull-ups, do some sit-ups. <laughs> do the laundry, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Any second now. Come on. Any second. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Now, I don't think it changes the stats very much if it does, but I, I don't think it does, but we'll find out here soon enough. There we go. See how it turned into vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. 100% Gulper Smacker damage. So it did, you know, benefit a little bit. But uh, so now how you saw the... We started off with the Meyer Magic Moonshine we got from Sunday Brothers Cabin. Threw it in the old fermenter. Went from a full yellow bar down to this black bar with the line through it. And uh, looking at the time, we're pretty much an hour. Yeah. I would say 60, 60, uh, 60 minutes, a full hour. In the old fermenter. So just an FYI, 60 minutes of real life gameplay. Or, you know, you can just kind of leave it on, go AFK and, you know, go do something, come back. Whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, I just want to show you this. So let's take this now. And as the daily said, we have to uh, consume it. Here we are. Consume a vintage alcoholic beverage. We're going to consume this vintage Meyer Magic Moonshine. Done. Consume a vintage alcoholic beverage one for one. Perfect. Huh? So there you go. Good times. Whoa, baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.